Uh, Rick, you want to start us off? Chase, can you walk us through your preparation before the game? Uh, it, it's been two years since uh, you had any on-field action. Talk to us a little bit about that preparation and uh, and what were your nerves like going into the game? Good morning, Rick. How are you doing? Good to see you, Chase. Great. Good Thank you. you. Good. Um, you know, leading up to every game during the week, I'm preparing to play, prepare to win the game. And nothing changed about that. As far as on game day, I woke up, got my morning prayers in, got my music going, got in the zone. And then once I was at the stadium, you know, regardless of how long it had been since I played, uh, I'm someone who plays the game of football. And it was no different than any other game, had the same rules and regulations, same field. So when I stepped out there, it was about just making plays to win the game. Thank you, Chase. Thank you. Uh, Mike. Hey, Chase, good morning. Um, good morning Mike. You know, it's understandable that you're practicing getting ready, but uh, is, is Doreen practicing right now? Can you answer that? Uh, every week I practice to play, I practice to win the game as far as that. Uh, goes, I'll have to defer to coach on that. Okay, no, thank you very much. Um, what was it like uh, having uh, a kind of, um, you know, coach said it really wasn't simplified that that you guys are, are prepped, uh, you know, all the quarterbacks are prepped every game, but it did seem it was a little bit more simplified so that, uh, you, uh, you know, everyone can, uh, you know, have an easier transition, you know, with you and ha having your first uh, experience. What was that like uh, uh, putting the offense together last week? Um, Pretty much, we, we went into the game with a similar, if not the exact same game plan uh, earlier that week before we had news that uh, I would be starting that week. So uh, not too much oversimplification. You know, I myself practice each week to play regardless of uh, who's going to start that week and nothing was different. So the game plan was still the same. Hey, Chase. How's it going? Good. Hey, listen, what was it like during the game, though? I mean, obviously, it's one thing to prepare. And I know you took some snaps, you know, late last year. But the, this this was different, knowing that the game was, was in your hands and the offense was in your hands. The game speed, obviously, is a lot different than it is during practice. What, what, what did it feel like out there with that experience? It just felt like a huge blessing. And I was so grateful for the opportunity. You know, I play football, I'm a player. So whenever I get that opportunity to be out there in the game, I'm going to seize it. And, you know, I had just as much fun in that game as any other game. I wasn't really uptight or over nervous. And whether it be at Autzen Stadium or Memorial Stadium at my hometown in Hutto, Texas, you know, it's, it's still the same pigskin. And it was just, a lot of fun to go out there and uh, you know this week just as last week was the mission is always the win now after the game saturday a couple of your teammates uh referred to you as a gamer they were like that you know said that you were always ready no matter what did you feel in command of the offense out there on saturday i did feel in command of the offense and uh, you know not just myself but all of my teammates out there were fighting so hard in stride and it really couldn't have been an easier opportunity for a quarterback to step in for their first time starting in college. I'm very grateful for these guys and I'd play with them any week. Thanks. Uh, Sam Conan. Hey Chase, how you doing? How's it going Sam? Oh well, so uh, did you hear from any, uh, what is it, old teammates or alumni before or after the game kind of as a good luck or congratulations either end? Um, before the game, I pretty much muted all my notifications just because I knew that when word got out, there'd be a lot and I wanted to be focused. But after the game, it was definitely great to hear from some of my old teammates, some of my mentors and you know some of the alumni uh, who were essentially just congratulating me on taking advantage of the opportunity. But, Honestly, that's all a blessing, but at the end of the day, I'm a quarterback, and the goals will go 1-0 and each week, and we didn't do that last week, and this week, that's the mission, so that's my main focus. And then uh, I'm, I'm 
sure you talked to Dorian about your performance. What what was his feedback and what was your conversation like in, in a couple of days since? Dorian's always been positive. Uh, you know, anytime I interact with him, uh, we're, we're two competitors and we're, we're two guys in the same room. And I feel like we make the quarterback room better just as all the quarterbacks in the room make it better. And you can't really ask for anything more. Thanks. Uh, Joe. Hey, Chase, how you doing? How's it going, Joe? Good, thanks. Two questions for you. First one, just um, scouting Arizona and their defense. What's been, what have you seen from them the couple games they've played so far? Well, the, the funny part, the ironic part is uh, I used to be uh, on the scout team field for some weeks last year and, and, and the year before, and that was when Coach Rhodes was over here. And he's the defense coordinator there. So I have a little bit of history playing against those looks. And then just, I know the UCLA, Josh and the UCLA radio guys talked about it before the game last week. You were the Gatorade Texas player of the year, but you didn't get many power five or D1 offers. And just with the performance you had this past week, did you feel coming into the game or the first couple starts, no matter when they were going to be, that you had more to prove or a bit of the chip on your shoulder to show the type of quarterback you are? Well, I mean, just going into the recruiting process, uh, all I needed was one offer. And I got the offer that I wanted, and this was the place I was supposed to be. Uh, there were definitely other places that I could have gone, but nowhere else that I should have gone. And I'm in the perfect spot. As far as in the game and having the chip on my shoulder, uh, in whatever I do, whether it be football, or classroom, or just overall endeavors, I'm going to strive to be the best. Yeah. That's just not really a product of the situation that I'm in, but more of intrinsically, that's what I'm going to do in whatever situation I'm in. So, of course, uh, I don't really use that whole backstory that some people use to say that they're they're fighting against something in their past. No, I, every single week, I'm going to be my best self and compete against everyone to be the best. That's what I'm about. Uh, how many LinkedIn requests did you get just after your start Saturday or did, did everything? Oh, it was a bit. <laughs> okay. OK, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, let's go back to Mike. Chase, can you talk about the offensive line? I mean, not only did they protect you, um, they're getting, you know, they're helping the offense overall get some really big numbers. Uh, they helped Demetrius Felton, you know, open up some gaps, you know, uh, get get to the edge, and he, even pulling on some sweeps. You know, what, what can you say about what this team, which is uh, what, what the line is, which is fairly young, uh, has has been doing for you guys? Well, this whole offensive line is really athletic, big, strong, fast, can move. But the best thing about them is they fight together as a unit and they work to fit each play, which is just their little rundown that the whole offense really goes through. And it keeps us focused. And as long as we compartmentalize on each play our assignments with our physical gifts that we have up front and the way they fight together and the way that the rest of the positions on the field believe in them, I think that's why you see evidence of how well they're doing up front. So I can't really ask for anything more as a quarterback. Uh, Rick. Ball security has been a problem for you guys all season long. What can you guys do as an offense and a team in general to improve on that? Well, I know the other positions work every day on it. I can only speak for myself. Uh, really any turnovers that I have in a game, that's on me and is unacceptable at the quarterback position. Every single game you go in and you want to minimize turnovers, not to one, not to two, you want to have zero turnovers. And uh, every single week, that's the mission. Every single day in practice, I'm focused on that because protecting the ball is one of the priorities, if not the highest priority of the quarterback position. Are there things you can do, though, to mi minimize them that, that you can work on in practice, specific things? Absolutely. Um, I think it really comes down to two things, fundamentals and decision making. So both are, both are very tangible things. 
You know, they're, they're not these far out things. They're simple. They're not easy, but they are simple and correctable. So those are the things that I focus on in practice. One last question. Uh, playing in Austin, your first game with no fans. I mean, you come from Texas and I mean, high school football in Texas could have 50,000 easy. Uh, what was it like in that regard? Oh, it was such a blessing. You no, know, of course, uh, I'm so grateful for all the fans and, and, and in this situation, it's a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's the same game. And when, when I'm on that field, I'm not really looking up in row 42, looking at my <laughs> mother and father waving down at me. Uh, I'm, I'm really focused on what the defense has to offer. And the same focus was there uh, each, each play. Good luck to you on Saturday, Chase. Thank you so much, Rick. Uh, let's go back to Sam. Hey, Chase, so I know Doreen in the past would uh, kind of reward his O-line uh, with, with wing stop, getting them food. Uh, is that something you've considered this week? Is there anything you have planned for or that you've already done for kind of giving them a thank you for this weekend? Uh, I mean, right now we're being really cautious about going out, especially in groups. Uh, but I think in the future, especially when things clear up and it's a little bit safer, there's definitely some things in store. All right, we got anything else for Chase? All right, thanks for your time, Chase. Thank y'all so much, God bless. Oh, also, it's my mother's birthday, so shout out to her.